Hey, have you ever been wondering why there's so much arguments over carbohydrates versus fats in diet? Some people would say, don't have any carbs. Some people would say, don't have any fats. And <clears throat> obviously people are like to, they like to be polarized. But before I, I say anything, what my opinions are, and my opinions are based on the results that I get. Well, let's say this is maybe too complicated for most, most people to, to actually get. So if you, if you actually have results with your nutrition, with your clients, maybe you're just one of those people that get it. Time ago, somebody wanted to um, invent an aeroplane. Time ago, somebody wanted to invent a, a, a rocket. Uh, travel in space and, and there was a lot of discussion how to do it there was a lot of arguing there was a lot of debating if there was internet back then uh, would be a lot of trolling as well a lot of uh, self-proclaimed gurus however it's a certain team of experts that probably came up with the solution first and the others actually copied it at the end it's the same with carbohydrates versus fats versus protein versus macros versus calories intake it's all been figured out a long time ago however people still want to look at one side of the coin because well they can say everything because they want to pose to be smart sometimes and sometimes they they just say what they think and they make a video about it right so if, if you do have a, a results with, <laughs> with your nutrition, probably you figured it out, probably you, uh, you got the right resources. But if you, if you they still didn't have any results that, you know, like on the level, let's say, if you're losing fat with client and you can't get them to, uh, well, some people, some people, you can't get some people into the level when they have stirrations on their triceps, on the lower back, stirrations on their quads or, or, or glutes. Probably didn't figure out how to deal with low fat people, okay? Um, that are lean. They react more to carbohydrates rather than fats, but they sh still should have fats, otherwise, their brain will stop functioning well and uh, the IQ will go down. On the other hand, you have very fat, fat people, obese, morbidly obese that are nearly dead. And if you can't get somebody 160 kilograms down to 80 kilograms and actually getting them more fit and muscular at the same time, without starving them too much, it means you didn't figure out how to treat people with a big insulin resistance that need a lot of fat in diet rather than carbs. If you disagree with me, well, I don't give a fuck. It, it, just if you have your results, I, I respect that. Yeah. If you don't have results, you know, <clears throat> what can I say? Without swearing, I can't say anything. Uh, I could only swear. So um, next video, I'll, I'll say what I would do with a person that's very fat that wants to get from sumo wrestler level down to six pack ish. Yeah. And maybe next video, how to deal with person that achieved their six pack level and wants to get more stirrations. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching and um, see you next time.